The Shape of Things Right Now, Part 3 Once there was a square planet. On the square planet live shape people. Most of the shape people worked for Mr. Coleman. He was the owner of the biggest coal company on the planet. Every day, the shape people would go to work where they would dig for coal. It was hard work, but it helped them buy food for their families. The coal was burnt, which made electricity. But the burning coal created a thick, grey, poisonous smog. And so some of the children became very sick. The hospital bills were too expensive for the coal workers. The medical bills kept on piling up. So the coal workers went to ask Mr. Coleman for help. But Mr. Coleman believed that his time was far too valuable. It was easier to pay other people to solve his problems. the coal workers were told that they would not need to worry. Mr. Coleman would make sure only clean coal was burnt. So the shapes worked longer and harder to earn more money. But it wasn't enough to help their children get better. As time went on, the air had become much worse. The smog travelled all over the planet more and more shape people became sick. Not so far away, things had been very different. The shape people had worked out that energy could come from the sun. This was called solar energy, and it didn't create any pollution. They set up a school to teach other shape people how it worked. Many shape people began working and making money. When the king and Mr. Coleman heard about this, they were furious. So Mr. Coleman gave the king a lot of money. The king did whatever he could to stop the people using solar. The news scared the shape people by telling them that they would soon all lose their jobs. This worried many of the coal worker shapes they went to stand up against the solar energy school. Over a short period of time, the smog travelled all over the planet and up into the atmosphere. The carbon dioxide from the coal caused the whole planet to get warmer. This changed the planet's weather and melted its ice. Many of the animals got stuck and could not get to food or safety. The weather would be changed forever unless they did something now. I wish I made this story up, but the truth is, it is very real. The coal industry is extremely rich and gives huge amounts of money to politicians. In return, the politicians keep the coal industry alive. The truth is, people are starting to wake up and realize that coal production is harming the earth and the release of carbon dioxide is causing floods and weather change all over the world. Melting ice is causing rising sea levels killing people and animals. The current President of the United States will not admit that climate change is real. He and his favorite news channel have been able to convince millions of people to ignore what is happening around the world. We have to act now, or it will be too late.